in 2001, I set off to sail around the world. I didn't know it would be this at that time, but it ended up being 13 years of going around a couple times. And one of our first stops, the dangerous archipelago, it's a big swath of French Polynesia, that uh, very ancient islands that are all just basically uh, circular reefs now. I was with my girlfriend at the time and a really good friend of hers, this girl Kelly, and she was super into scuba diving. She really wanted to dive this pass. And we got in the dinghy and we go out through the pass and clearly it's already, the flood's already fully going. So that's mistake number one. We should have just aborted. Mistake number two was we had this kind of rescue system that you could attach to your BC and then a float. You put a float at the surface so whoever was on the surface when you're doing these drift dives can follow you. Abort number three was that the dinghy we had was a total piece of crap and the engine was totally unreliable. So as soon as we get in the water, there's like sharks everywhere. They're little sharks. They're just like reef sharks and stuff. Like 10 minutes into the dive, my light goes out. I hadn't recharged it right or something. Again, this is like number nine reason to abort. We weren't supposed to go beyond 30 minutes and now it's like 55 minutes because Kelly and I are both really good on air. We're like, oh, we better get to the surface. We come up at like an hour and as soon as we get to the surface, I'm like, oh my God, we are in deep shit. It, it was totally calm when we went down. Now it's blowing like 25 knots. We've got six foot waves like breaking on us. Totally rough seas. Oh my God, this is a bad scene. But mostly I'm worried about Tamara because there's no Tamara. There's no little dinghy. There's no way she would be able to follow us. And I see an extra light. And then we realized it was a boat. I'm like, ah, we're a rescue. That was nothing. That was nothing. And then instead of red light, green light, we see just nothing but white light. And then white light, white light, white light, and then gone. And of course, that's the stern of the boat. So we're like, oh, well, well so much for getting rescued. And about three o'clock in the morning, we'd been swimming for three hours at that point. And, uh, and I'm, I'm on my belly and she's on her back in a huge shark. I can just make out, it's just gray enough that I could just make out its shape. I have no idea what kind it was. Comes right up underneath me. And I kind of do one of those whole like, <gasps> whoa. And then she looks over at me. She's like, wait, what? What was that? And I was like, oh, no, nothing, nothing. That was nothing. I just, you know, kind of lost my breath for a second. She's like, what? No, tell me what it was. And I'm like, no, 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 it was nothing. God damn it, Gavin, tell me what it was. I'm like, oh, it was a really big shark. And she's like, oh, my God, why did you tell me? And so at this point, we'd, we'd been in the water for over eight hours. I looked down, and I can barely make out the bottom. And I'm like, okay, oh, it's finally getting shallower. And I look up, and I can just make out what I think are some palm trees, some coconut trees. And so we're getting close. Another half an hour, we finally make sure. Then the sun comes up and it's raging. So we take all our wetsuits off. So we're just sitting there naked, getting baked in the sun. We're so wrapped up in this that we look up at one point and there's these two French Polynesian huge dudes with tattoos covered over their whole body just looking at us like... Hey, you guys want to be rescued or what? And one of those kind of things where you almost die, but we made it through it, swam with sharks all night, and uh, I guess I'm the wiser for it.